Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Virgo. Something is being balanced out. You don't see it, but it has to do with a connection. Somebody is turning their back on something or someone. This could be a friend, family member, a lover. There's a cord being cut. Heavy emphasis on a Leo. But somebody is choosing to go where they are truly, uh, I just heard a value, where they're truly valued, where they're happy, where there's an energy that's pure. It's a divine energy. Somebody is waking up. Something is being illuminated here. The Ace of Cups. Yeah, the Chariot. Somebody loves a high priestess and they're going towards this person. They're getting away from this, this Queen of Wands energy. This Queen of Wands, like I said, this doesn't even have to be a lover. This could be a friend. This could be a sneaky, shady friend, a family member. could be someone's sister. It could be a mother figure, whomever this is. So somebody is turning their back on this energy because it's an interference. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, it could be any sign. But this, this energy is causing an interference. It's very clear here. Somebody wants to go celebrate. They want to be in a partnership. This yin and yang energy, something is being balanced out. Temperance and the justice card are both about balance. Somebody is trying to temper themselves. There's self-control or moderation needed here. Or somebody has really been too controlled when it comes to a partnership. Somebody has been so controlled that they're not allowing themselves to actually go towards a connection or a union. It is because this person, they kind of have one foot in, one foot out. It's because of the influence of this Queen of Wands. Maybe somebody has gotten out of a relationship. They're not fully healed from the breakup. They have some kind of outdated way of thinking, a mindset, or like I said, they are actually engaged in conversations or doing something with this Queen of Wands that needs to completely be released. This Queen of Wands is standing right in the middle of someone making a decision to actually be happy. Somebody could go into a relationship with someone that they literally have a child with. The, the Sun and the Ace of Cups, and they can move into like a, a very spiritual, divine type of pathway or journey. But look, the three of wands, someone has manifested a divine feminine, but they are still hesitant to travel, to move forward, to communicate this truth to this person. It's because of this queen of wands, just 100%. This queen of wands is blocking something. This could be a queen of wands who is in the background, who has even done like some type of spell work or manipulation so that a person is always feeling defeated. It's like a person, a masculine for sure, is constantly wanting to take a step towards a connection or a relationship or a new beginning. And for some reason, they're constantly being like stumped. It's because of this queen of wands. Six of Wands. Yeah, there's going to be victory and success in this situation because something is being illuminated. The temperance here, somebody is going with and something could have started during Virgo season or even Sagittarius season. For some of you, the last maybe four to six weeks, you and a person, especially if you're connected to someone, this person is, is trying to figure something out. The hermit, they're going with and you could be separated from a person not talking or seeing each other as much. Somebody is trying to figure something out here and it's being illuminated. The King of Swords, oh yeah, it's being illuminated. Somebody is gonna have to put somebody on the chopping block here. Yeah, this King of Swords, this is a person who usually can make really good decisions. They are usually a very rational, logical person. This person is realizing that when it comes to partnerships and relationships, they cannot make a decision. And this is not like them. Somebody is coming to the realization, hey, I'm not acting myself. Something isn't right. This is probably going to point to this person realizing that, hey, somebody is in the background conjuring up some type of energy to send out that is causing them to have this stress, fear, and anxiety. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody is about to really work hard to change something here. It's something karmic with this queen of wands is standing i'm telling you it's blocking them this person is constantly feeling defeated every time they go towards this ace of pentacles every time somebody wants a new job new career new relationship anything that brings them security or stability i don't even feel like for a lot of people though that this queen of wands energy that this is someone that may actively be in a person's life this feels like a hex or curse that somebody has done and, it, and it's something about it, it it's perpetually happening Somebody, because it's two of wands, this person, this person left a queen of wands behind already. They already left this person behind. Somebody did something. They put something, some hex or curse or jinx or something in place so that a person could not actually receive offers or make an offer. Because every single time someone here looks at a relationship, a partnership, or some type of new um, financial investment, they, they, they are left feeling defeated. They cannot make it. Somebody here is trapped. 
it is somebody has done some kind of soul swapping or they trapped the soul of a person where they're just stuck in a in a, a, a period of time, a portal. They're stuck there. They can't get out. So this could be somebody has done some type of freezer spell or jar spell, graveyard mat. They've done something though so that a person, I'm telling you, they're just stuck. It doesn't matter what is happening around this person. That's what makes me think of like a jar or something. Somebody can be surrounded with love, light, healing, joy, peace, happiness, and they, they cannot recognize it. They, they can't even see it. Somebody did this on purpose. This Queen of Wands did this because somebody knows that a person wants to make an offer to a Queen of Cups. So, of course, they keep on creating burdens so that this person can move forward. The Seven of Swords. Somebody needs to assess and evaluate what's happening. Use their brain to actually see where exactly is this crossroads stagnant energy coming from. Is something or someone from their past that did this. Five of Cups. They're always still feeling de de defeated, disappointed. But the star is here. This person is receiving healing energy from this high priestess. But in order for them to break free of this, they still themselves have to cut the cord. They have to stand up for themselves because right now they're making a lot of investments and nothing is happening. They themselves are going to have to stand up to somebody. If this is a friend or family member, it's like spirit. It's like, I'm not going to release you from this situation until you have the guts to actually say to a person, you need to stay away from me. Yeah, somebody's going to have to have this awakening and admit that somebody in their, from their past or around them is very devious and destructive. This could be somebody that's not really thinking that this may be happening because whoever this queen of wands is may be at a distance. This may be somebody's ex, a uh, friend. It could be a family member, a lover. Somebody's like, oh, that person, they're not around me. They don't know what I'm doing in my life. Yeah, but this person is a witch. This is a cause of witch. Page of Pentacles. Yeah. When somebody gets this confirmation, they're going to purge something out of their energy. The world card, yeah. This, this has to come to an end. Something here just, it's, it's a shift. There's an energetic shift happening. Something is, is swapping also with time. I know exactly what it is. <laughs> this post, Mercury, and also Saturn is going to rate very soon. In a few weeks, Saturn is going to rate. This is this is a type of karma that, listen, nobody, nobody is ready for this type of karma. Knight of Wands, yeah. Somebody sees a person constantly leveling up, trying to level up, trying to spiritually rank up. So what they're doing is they're trying to keep a person in this Knight of Wands, um, in and out, playboy, playgirl, toxic like energy or somebody. The Knight of Wands can be someone that's very passionate, very charismatic, but um, somebody wants a person to rush and do things without thinking. Also, somebody wants a person to be in an energy where they, two of swords, they, they just, they, they're... Somebody wants a masculine specifically to be a double-minded man. Just period. Hangman. Hey yeah, hangman hey in the reverse. Somebody's coming out of this illusion, though. The moon. It's definitely an illusion. This queen of wands could be a cancer. Cancer and Leo are heavy. Cancer, Leo, Aquarius. Three of swords, yeah. Somebody just wanted a person stuck in an illusion that they're heartbroken and victim consciousness. You'll never get anywhere. You'll never have anything. You'll never have anybody. You'll never do better than me. Whatever this is, this stupid nine of cups. Somebody actually does have wish fulfillment. And, and when this person has wish fulfillment or happiness, they are left feeling ten of swords, mentally tired, exhausted, overwhelmed, hitting rock bottom. This is because of magic. Somebody has done. This is magic. Conflict, chaos, magic, drama, knight of swords. Somebody is sending in an energy of illusions. Here it is. There you have it. It's conflict and chaos. So this queen of wands, this also could be somebody that is battling against like a Jezebel energy. Yeah, this, this Jezebel energy is not playing. Queen of swords, yeah. This person is trying very hard to destroy a feminine and or a masculine who has a very promising um, life, career, legacy. This Queen of Wands, yeah, this is a Jezebel-like energy. It's attacking a person. 
Yeah, so that this person is disconnected. This person is completely out of their body half the time. They're numb. They're disconnected. There's a lot of apathy. They're bored. They're missing opportunities. They can't even recognize opportunities. It's chaos and conflict being sent to this person from the devil. This demonic energy here. It's a Jezebel-like energy. And it's because this person decided to move on. Maybe they're moving on. I mean, when people move on, you know eventually they're going to connect with somebody else. I don't even know if this person has connected with a new person. Eight of Wands. With the devil here, the Six of Wands, Eight of Wands, this is a lot of travel. Movement. Somebody out here, this is this is definitely some type of entity. Somebody is astral traveling or monitoring something like somebody is doing in the page of cups to me, honestly, the page of cups is a childlike energy. It's an innocent somebody here. Um, somebody is taking advantage of a person who is not spiritually awakened and aware. Somebody is who maybe does not know a lot about spiritual things and i mean there's a lot i don't know but this is somebody here who is new to their spiritual path or journey they right now are encountering like their first real test and it's a battle with jezebel jezebel is an extremely powerful demonic spirit no and i hope people get in the comments oh you shouldn't give them power Certain demons are, are very high-ranking, powerful demons. Nobody's going to sit here and pretend that, that if you're just completely unawakened, unaware, you don't even know what to pray, that you cannot be afflicted by these energies and entities. Like, stop that. Jezebel is extremely powerful. And somebody who is in the Page of Cups energy, who does not even recognize that this is happening or who is turning their cheek to it, they don't know to speak up, speak out, or to protect themselves from this. This is somebody who, who probably does not know much about spiritual protection or anything. And this entity or whatever is having its way with this person because this person has some kind of abundance coming in. That's why all of this monitoring, mind games, manipulation, chaos, and conflict, this is a fleeting energy that keeps rushing in to attack someone's mind. King of Cups. The, yeah. King of Cups, Ten of Cups. This is, this is a masculine who most likely is supposed to be a husband, a father. They're trustworthy. They're, you know, they're devoted. That They have morals, values. Like, this person could be very religious. They're like, oh, no, there's no such thing as... Jezebel or whatever. The King of Wands is here. Page of Swords. Hmm. Something is about to be illuminated though. Ooh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here we go. Eight of Swords. This is in somebody's family. This page of swords. This king of wands is looking at a, the Hierophant, Ten of Cups, King of Cups. Some, somebody could have a, a father who could be like a Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, or a Taurus. They could have a father figure that's very religious or something like that. There's like a Jezebel spirit that's in somebody's family. And it could have actually come from a mother, a father, or something. Eight of Swords. Yeah, somebody here does not see some kind of conflict. Somebody does not see that like their mom and dad or mom and a sibling or something like that is teaming up against them. Nine of Pentacles. Somebody does not want a person to collaborate with this Nine of Pentacles energy.
So this nine of pentacles is probably this high priestess star magician. So somebody knows that a friend or a family member is connecting with a high priestess who is a healer, a powerful magician or manifester. Somebody is purposely working against this connection. They, they put something in place, some kind of magic or something, so that this person does not connect with this individual. This family or whoever this is, these are people who are threatened by this high priestess being in this friends group or this family group. But somebody here is talking to a person that they consider why somebody is talking to a priest. I don't know if this is in their family, but you have the King of Cups here and the King of Wands. Somebody could have a friend or a sibling who is going to a priest or priestess telling them things about their life and somebody has done some type of spell or root work so that a person cannot see anything good about a collaboration with this nine of pentacles nine of wands yeah somebody is is being tricked and bamboozled somebody is talking to a person the Eight of Swords here, wait a minute, Nine of Wands, somebody is going through spiritual warfare, a battle. You have this Nine of Pentacles here, this person that's self-sufficient, abundant. Somebody here is telling a person that someone that they are collaborating with is no good. So what somebody has tried to do is they've tried to blind this high priestess. Because this high priestess is telling this King of Wands, that they are seeking wise counsel from someone that's in their family or that they see as family who is not right. Or this person is talking to a friend. They're talking to somebody who is also talking to like a priest, a dark priestess or something. The emperor. Wow. Death. Oh, wow. Somebody is trying to put an end to this masculine. This could be a masculine. Okay. This Queen of Wands could be a man. This could be a male Jezebel. Somebody is trying to put an end to this emperor before they can even get started. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. What? And the Empress. You have a masculine out here who does not realize that with this Hierophant, Ten of Cups, King of Wands, King, this person has friends or family members that are actually trying to go after this Empress. Or there's an emperor that's putting an end to the offers that are going towards this empress. The emperor is calling death and ending. This emperor does not want the knight of pentacles or the knight of cups to go towards this empress. Eight of cups. Somebody is trying to make every person walk away from this empress. Ace of wands. So that there is no new beginning. Ace of Swords, that's the truth. It feels like here, like the story just switched though. Like it seems like this is a totally different message. The strength. Somebody 
is holding on to the strength, the energy of this divine feminine. This keeps coming out. It feels like there's, this is also a situation where somebody here is aware of this. This feels like a masculine who, him, let, let, me, let me try to walk through this. This feels like a masculine who is being attacked by a Jezebel energy. This is a major spiritual attack. This person is being attacked by like a Jezebel, okay? I don't know if this Jezebel person is male or female. It's a person that they know that's in this energy. Or I should say this person has left like a Jezebel behind, but the energy is still like attached to this masculine and attacking them. So there is like some old spell work that's there, like spell work or whatever, that's causing issues but this part somebody there's a masculine out here who has a lot of stuff going on this person is in a spiritual awakening there's something from their past that is still attaching them but this person also has a friend or a family member that's also trying to block their relationship and somebody out here is talking to a preacher, a priest, or somebody. But I'm, I'm trying to figure out if this masculine is the one who is trying to talk to a priest or someone about how to stop people from going towards this empress. This feels like, y'all, this is, this is deep. This is a lot because... Like I said, something is shifting with the energy. It feels like somebody is going through a spiritual awakening, but they're doing something more spiritual to help them in this situation, but they're keeping it to themselves. It's like somebody here, what I'm going to tell you, it, it almost feels like there's a masculine who has recognized, yes, somebody is attacking me and my feminine, okay? This person has gone to seek help wise counsel or advice and I feel like somebody is telling them you have two different people who are headed towards this divine feminine these two people could be two other masculines that this masculine knows whoever this person of wise counsel is going to tell this man you need to put an end to these two people who are going towards this divine feminine because they're doing something to make this divine feminine walk away from you. Somebody is taking time out right now. They're resting. They're trying to heal. But they're getting downloads with this Ace of Swords. They're definitely getting downloads about some kind of clarity about a situation. Somebody is like, oh, wow. They're like, oh, I know I'm stuck and bound because of this, but somebody is seeing clearly now. Oh, my goodness. I think that my friends or somebody are trying to take this woman from me. This emperor is going to have to stand up, though, and put an end to this. Because this person, the connection that they're supposed to have with this empress, this high priestess, divine feminine, is the reason why other people are going towards this person. You know how it's like you find... A person, it's a lot of people who are, are very divine. They're not popular or whatever. Somebody has found like a diamond in the rough and, and now other people are like, oh, wow, I want to, you know. You know, a lot of people become popular by association. Somebody has re realized like, oh, and, and th this, you know, if, it, if it's not so major, this could be somebody is realizing that a lot of things are coming between them and another person and they really need to be careful. Somebody is going to have to cut some people out of their energy if they want this divine feminine. This, this divine feminine is somebody who is so high vibing 
this person has to be protected. So if you have an emperor going towards this divine feminine and they have people around hanging around them or whatever that are not good, then they can't go toward then this masculine can't go towards this emperor's. It's like spirit is saying, you're going to have to eliminate everything from your life if you want to have this divine feminine. Somebody has to turn a completely new leaf if they want to experience the fertility, the abundance, the nurturing, and, and everything else that comes with a true divine feminine. Somebody has karmic energies around them. They have a Jezebel from their past attached to them, and they have karmic friends. And spirit is saying, no, you're not taking those people around this divine feminine. You want to hang out with these particular friends? You can't be around divine feminine. So it's clear. Yeah. Somebody's, this person has to wash. They have to cleanse. They have to clear. They have to cut. This person, this divine feminine is too high vibing. Spirit is like, I'm, I'm going to take this divine feminine away from you. And they'll just go on to a passionate beginning where they can have peace. But you're somebody is bringing drama to a divine feminine's doorstep. And I don't know if they realize it or not, but that's what's happening. Somebody has talked about a divine, I mean, literally the, the temperance, the two of cups, the three of cups, somebody has went and told somebody like, oh yeah, I'm celebrating with this divine feminine and things are going so good and man, she, he or she, they're a high priestess or they're really popular. They do this, they do. Somebody has gone out singing praises about a person to people who they thought they could trust. And it has gotten the attention of this queen of wands who's jealous and envious, but this emperor also has friends who are jealous and envious. So these people are actually projecting death onto this, this connection. Yeah, strength, queen of pentacles, five of pentacles. It's a stronghold here. Somebody's going to free themselves from it, but somebody is going to have to get burned real bad before they recognize Somebody here is just not seeing. Yeah, this is somebody who is still kind of stuck. It, it's a shift happening. This person, it's like you choose your friends and your family or you choose your divine path with your divine feminine or masculine. Somebody is still holding on like, you know, my friends. And it's like, no, they cannot go with you. If you choose these people, you will not. It, it, it's all or nothing. You choose this divine feminine or you stay over here with your friends. But but you, you can't take your friends toward this divine feminine. Nope. Spirit, it's like spirit has spoken. Like this is final. Four of Pentacles. The Three of Wands. Four of Wands. So it's a union coming in. But it's like everything has to be sacrificed. This person is going to have to, this masculine, they're going to have to stand up, protect, provide. Like they're going to have to really stand up and get in that king of pentacles type of energy to match this queen of pentacles who is actually this divine feminine it's like you're gonna have to get up this has to be equal give and take whatever the energy is that divine feminine puts out you're gonna have to put the same thing out if divine feminine is a high priestess and she's protecting you you better protect her and right now you need to protect her from your friends and your family just period seven of pentacles yeah somebody's gonna have to invest Two of Pentacles is no more in and out, one foot in, one foot out. You're juggling. Somebody has to call judgment on their on their past. Uh, it's a childhood friend, a, a family member, or somebody. Something from this person's past that they've been struggling to let go of. But spirit is making it clear. You either sacrifice their friend or family member for this divine union, or you won't have it. Ooh. I mean, this this is like clear. Somebody is is very much happy, pleased. Like somebody really, really respects this. I mean, you can see it here. This person is going out just singing praises about this person. This person, they cook, they clean, they do this, they do that. They, you know, they have this kind of car. They do da 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 just talking. And all this information is going into the ears of the wrong people. This person... There's a, they've already left somebody behind that's watching them, stalking them, a Jezebel. But they have friends around them that are also in the Jezebel. But see, Jezebel being 
the the the, the, the spirit that, that loves chaos, conflict, and confusion. Jezebel is using everything and everyone around a person to distort and destroy. This Jezebel energy right now is even attaching itself. This Jezebel energy is attaching itself to the friends and family members, even of this masculine and this family and this feminine, so that they will walk away from each other. This is like real heavy, real, real heavy warfare. Will of Fortune and the Sun. There's going to be a shift. There's going to be a change. But all of this is happening because someone is going to have to actually allow this illumination to occur. Somebody is, is kind of like, well, I think that maybe that's happening. But it's like Spirit is saying, no, it's happening. You need to see this for what it truly is. And you're going to have to banish whatever this low vibrational energy is if you want to have good fortune, success, joy, peace, happiness, will of fortune, and the sun. Somebody has to, it's like you have to fully commit to this. You have to be fully committed to this path. And we all know, we've all been here before and, and probably are, are going there again. On your path, on your journey, everybody can't come with you. Somebody is still trying to bring people with them that carry a Jezebel spirit and spirit. God is saying, no, they're not coming with you. And especially if I have gifted you a divine feminine or masculine, you will not go and taint the life and the spirit of that person because you want to bring your drama and your baggage in because you're codependent. And, and that's just that. This is a very firm energy to like. Yeah, three of swords. It's too much interference here. There's a separation of, of an ending here. Somebody is feeling sad or depressed, lonely. Ace of swords. But they, it's like what comes in to break the heart is there to fix your vision. Somebody needs to see the truth. Somebody needs to see that they have opened their relationship up to some kind of dark energy. Jezebel is, 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 is going crazy in this connection. Which means that it must be a, a strong connection to be attacked like this. But somebody needs to see that for themselves. Like somebody is not recognizing, yo, you really have something here that's worth you standing up and protecting. There could be some kind of confrontation that comes up. Somebody's going to have to fight for an opportunity to take this offer in. Somebody right now is not recognizing something. What's coming in is victory and success. Somebody doesn't see that like their person or what they are manifesting literally has like the pits of hell have been opened up to attack this person because this, they're going towards victory and success with a high priestess. King of Wands in the reverse. This person right now, this King of Wands in the reverse, this person... The lovers in the reverse. Wow. Here's the two of cups in the reverse. And then the strength card. This person is being tricked. Possibly by this Leo. Doesn't have to be a Leo, but Jezebel. Jezebel or, or whoever this Leo is is operating as a Jezebel. Is causing this person to not stand up and protect or be a, a good leader, a good lover or partner. This person, two of cups, the lovers, this person right now, they they cannot show up in this relationship until they get this monkey off their back. Until they get rid of this Jezebel energy. This is like a spiritual spouse or something. This is a real serious stronghold. Yeah. And it keeps this person stressed out, overwhelmed, drained. They may be feeling lazy. I don't know if this is like some kind of Leviathan, Python-like energy. It's the spirit of death, though. This person, it's like eight of pentacles in the reverse. They can't focus. They can't get anything done. It's just all this conflict. Somebody is, is getting their butts beat down right now by some type of like energy or entity. This person is supposed to be so strong. They're like a leader. And somebody like has a grip, a hold on this person. My goodness. Yeah. Eight of Cups in the reverse. It's so that this, this person, they don't know which way to go. They're so confused. 
it's because somebody does not want them to go towards marriage or a commitment. Page of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. Somebody has turned somebody upside down. Do you hear me? Page of Cups in the reverse. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. The Moon in the reverse. Somebody has to release their fears and get out of this because somebody is not learning. It, it feels like somebody has even told this person, you need to stop talking to that person, stop being friends with them or whatever. They're not getting it. They're still just like, no, I can be friends with them. It's like, no, you can't. Do you not see that what you're doing is not working? The world, it's like, who am I? I feel like I'm I'm yelling at this person. Like, are you dumb or are you dumb? Like, what is it? Somebody is refusing to see. Like, bro, you have a friend or a family member that's a real snake. Literally, it's like a python. It's just, this, this energy is wrapping around this person, just destroying them. They, they don't want to see it. is this queen of five of pentacles exactly this person is constantly being stuck in a rut and there you have it again the queen of wands who in the <laughs> queen of wands in the reverse it's this it's this is a leo the hermit this person has a spiritual ability to look into a person's life they're monitoring things making sure that this person does not have any kind of wish fulfillment in love and what they're trying to make happen, this is Jezebel. This person wants very, the, the, this person, this energy, this Queen of Wands, Jezebel energy, is not going to be satisfied until this person chooses to leave this Divine Feminine alone. This person's like, until you no longer want to love that Divine Feminine, they're not going to stop. Like, they are this, just, they're, they're after this person. Queen of Swords, the Temperance in the reverse. Somebody here has lost all control. I don't know if this person is dealing with addictions or what. This person has no self-control. This queen of swords is like, I am here to destroy you. It's Jezebel. I mean, but, but Jezebel is operating. Jezebel is... And see, somebody doesn't understand that every single person that they talk to, Jezebel is getting in the minds of everybody that they talk to. So everybody that tells this person something, they're lying to them, tricking them. Like, it's everything to just cheat this person and trick them out of their spot. This person's emotions are completely imbalanced. They're irrational. That Like, they don't know what to do right now. Five of swords in the reverse, though. Like, a sacrifice has to be made. Somebody's going to have to decide, I'm not doing this anymore. Six of pentacles. If they want good karma, if they want to finally have some kind of wish fulfillment and peace, they have to leave this, that, or them, whatever, alone because it's blocking their Ace of Wands. The Tower in the reverse with the Ten of Pentacles, somebody is refusing to leave something or someone behind, and that's the reason why they're stuck with no stability, no security. They have to move away from this freaking magician, from this witch. Because they're stuck. This person is stuck tied to the devil. Somebody is trying to invest in a connection with this queen of pentacles, but they can't. And here you have it again. The knight of swords and the knight of wands. These two people. These two energies are rushing. These are these are like, inter like entities or something that somebody is sending out. Towards this person's new beginning, the sun. Somebody here has, I'm telling you, I, this is some major like spell work or something. I mean, there is a new moon. New moons is when a lot of people work on manifestations. Somebody is sending an energy in right now to attack everything in somebody's life. It's like, um, I talked about this like a week ago. This is like. Jezebel, I think uh, like the last week I said like Jezebel, Delilah, and Judas. So the, all these energies are attacking somebody. Somebody has a friend that's walking them into a trap. <laughs> somebody is talking like everybody that somebody talking. Everybody in somebody's life right now is a snake. 
and it's like three people. Two or three. It's a man out here who's talking to a woman, and he and, and there's two men. This woman could be a sister, or an ex, or something. Somebody that they are casually that whatever. But, the, but then there's two other people. Or this is just like this Jezebel energy. It's it, it's taking over the mind of everybody around this person. So it's like this person, they're, they're having regular conversations, but Jezebel is creating an illusion around this person to make them think that this illusion that they're in, that like the matrix they're in is where they're supposed to be. So somebody is, is going through hell and they're like, well, I, I think this just makes sense. This, this, this is how it's supposed to be. Like, no, child, you're, you're under a hex. You've been hexed, cursed, jinxed, big time. It, and, and I mean, we, we're quick to say spell work, but this person is also being tested by God. Like, your commitment is being tested. Will you surrender to the divine? This person, for one, this person has a new beginning coming, but they won't surrender these friendships to these family members. They they won't sacrifice that and surrender to what God is telling them to do. Somebody is very clear. God is telling this person, you need to get on this path, go towards this person, go here, go do like literally somebody has a GPS, go here. And they're like, well, I don't know. Um, maybe I need to stop over here. And every single time they stop to do something, they run into like this Jezebel type of energy. It's because this person has convinced themselves that they're being obedient, and they're, but they're not. This uh, this person is being attacked. Maybe they are very obedient, but they're being attacked. Emotions are running high, balanced spirituality and practicality. Pisces out here. The answers you need are coming. Full moon and Gemini. See, somebody is going to have this. Whoever this um, snake is has to be revealed. It has to. Communication is key. New moon and Gemini. So somebody out here could be a Gemini. Or you know what? The last full moon was. No. Full moon and Gemini. New moon and Gemini. Somebody could be a Gemini. But there's two there's two people in someone's energy that's very two-faced. Both of these cards. But also, too, Mercury retrograde ended January 1st. Today is January 10th. There's, there, there's a post-shadow phase. See, somebody is still being hidden and cloaked. This is a and this is a woman. It's Jezebel. Jezebel is is ruling communication around somebody. You're being advised to hold your vision. The Pi, Pi, full moon in Pisces is out here. If somebody could be a Pisces, that explains this high priestess energy. You, you, it's, it's important. Somebody is under a very bad psychic attack right now. New moon in Pisces. Meditate and contemplate. Look at the bigger picture. Full moon in Sagittarius. Bring love into this situation. Yeah, it's two people out here. Pisces, that's like high priestess energy. Sagittarius is temperance energy. You got a person out here that's like, it's like an earth angel a high priestess or whatever. These people are being attacked really, really bad right now. And Spirit is saying, bring love into this situation. New moon in Aquarius. Hopefully, you know, maybe this is something that will improve by Aquarius season. But but this is happening right now so that somebody can see the truth. Somebody is, is still not seeing the truth about two-faced people or friends or family that they're communicating with. And that is a, a big issue. Somebody that, this is happening so that a person will finally wake up and see there's something that has to be sacrificed for them to go into like their own, go on to their own sacred journey. It's not even so much about a union. These are people who are divine 
chosen ones who are being attacked. This is a major psychic attack happening. Nothing is yet set in stone. A win-win outcome is forecast. See, yeah, again, new moon in Sagittarius. It's something out here about Sagittarius and Pisces. Sagittarius, Pisces, Gemini, Aquarius. Something, somebody has come in and disrupted the connection between like a twin flame couple here. Somebody has come in and they have forced a disconnect. A fiery climax approaches. Prosperity lies ahead. Yeah. It's, uh, somebody's just under an attack. I feel like this is going to turn around somehow, but right now there is a there is divine couples out here for sure. Um somebody is sabotaging these connections. Jezebel. Jezebel is out here acting a fool. Jezebel is is literally like coming in with a vengeance on on these couples. It's like somebody here. It, it's it's almost like you can't really trust anybody because everybody's wearing a mask. It's a lot of people around the person right now who are being afflicted by this Jezebel energy. Third party, see. It's too many people involved here. But somebody is watching and monitoring a person go into... Look at this. Bridge and fragmented. Somebody is watching. They see a person is going into another phase of their life. So somebody right now with fragmented... Somebody is trying to split someone's energy. Relocation and then the star. Lightning. Something is going to happen quick. This is this chaos magic. This is chaos magic and isolation. The key here. Moon man travel. Evil eye. Hold on. You know what? This is like, but remember I said before, it seemed like the energy swapped. Or, or um, it seemed like it was too. There's a twin flame couple out here who both have a Jezebel attached to them. Both of these people are like in combat. They're both in war with like a Jezebel energy. I'm picking up two people here who both have an ex. Their exes live at a distance, but they there's a male Jezebel and a female Jezebel out here. These are exes. Of two people who are coming together. These exes are being used, of course, by the devil to cause this friction and chaos in this couple that's coming together. These two people right now, it's like something that's happening where they're being torn apart. The chaos in all of this is to force these two people to choose to be alone, to not want to be around each other or whatever. But somebody is about to finally get the answer, an intuitive download about what's happening, about a man here. There's a man at a distance that's sending the evil eye that's very angry. Somebody is online watching and monitoring a person's connection and they're angry and they are the ones who are in the background doing a lot of this because they have learned that a person is about to go into a partnership, a marriage or whatever. Somebody has an ex that's watching and monitoring them online. And this person, look, has made a contract with the devil. This person made a contract with the devil to do something to cause you to be very insecure. So right now you feel like you're just waiting. You're dating and you don't understand what's all this stuff that's going wrong. It's because somebody is working behind the scenes. But in divine timing, you're gonna get you're gonna get what you want, which is the manifestation of this soulmate. 
for your soulmate or twin flame, the same thing is happening with them. They are connected to, um, it, so it's like the divine feminine. If you have a man online who is watching you, monitoring you, sabotaging your connections, there's a masculine out here who has friends who are sabotaging their connection. So it's like divine feminine, your Jezebel connection is to your ex. You have a, a masculine out here who has maybe a friend, family member, an ex, or friends. This person is surrounded by people who are operating in the spirit of Jezebel. And until somebody gets out of their comfort zone and decides to stop being torn between two different paths and makes up their mind to be fully committed to their new divine contract, then there's going to be problems here. When somebody finally chooses to come out of this double-minded energy, that's when the good news will come in finances, career, stability. This karmic debt will be cleared away and somebody will get the answers that they need for them to start on a new project or something where they can utilize their gift. Yeah, there's a, a, a heavy monitoring spirit out here at Jezebel. Somebody did something like some heavy, heavy manipulation, spell work, root work or whatever. This is a man online that's watching somebody, sending them the evil eye. This man is pissed that this divine feminine is going into another connection. And they are the Jezebel in this feminist life. So they right now are trying to destroy this person. This high priestess is a star. This person could have a platform or they're being seen manifesting a good life. Somebody has discovered them online and is trying to destroy everything. But this person, is this feminine is connected to or connecting also with a masculine. Who could be going through something very similar? This masculine though, that they... They have friends and family around them that are no good. There's also a situation, if it's not two masculines out here, which I strongly feel that it is, you could have a masculine that is pissed off because they listen to their friends and the Jezebel and it caused them to end a relationship with you. And now they're trying to get back in and they can't. Because I keep looking at this, this emperor with these two friends. Somebody here, an emperor put an end to a, a connection with an empress because two people told them something. It's because Jezebel was coming in creating all this chaos and conflict. This person put an end to a divine union. They, they got tricked out of their spot. And they probably got tricked out of their spot because they connected themselves to this queen of wands. I'm seeing this a little different now. For some of you, this man that's so angry about trying to get back to you or whatever, they're pissed off because they listen to this Queen of Wands. This Queen of Wands probably told a lie to some people and even had other men going to this masculine lying on this divine feminine about something. And they made a, a, a decision. Okay, fine. Like, I'm done with the divine feminine. And they could have done something really, really bad in the background. And they completely sabotage this connection this person could have been under spell work when they did this somebody did some kind of spell work to make a divine feminine look really really bad so they attacked the divine feminine and they also this is a mess the problem here is that there's something shifting with the timelines. This is an old situation, but then there is something current happening as well. And it's very, very similar to a past situation. Somebody didn't want to get out of their comfort zone. Somebody kept dealing with this Queen of Wands, and I felt like a person was just like, "Man, that Queen of Wands is no good for you." I keep this. This is coming up. It's the same thing every other day. This was a third party. This person successfully broke up a divine connection. Somebody was like, "No, that person 
you need to be careful that person is two-faced. Like you're not really trustworthy. This Queen of Wands went and did something to make sure that this masculine did not want to be in a connection or a union with this divine feminine. Somebody here may have a lot of Gemini in their chart. Cancer Gemini. This this is this is one big lie that was told. But this lie, somebody didn't expect the person to take the course of action that they took when they found out about this lie. Somebody like in the community or whatever was lying because they wanted to make sure that, I'm telling you, somebody wants to make sure that this masculine did not choose this divine feminine. So they came up with this huge lie or whatever. And the masculine like listened to it. But I, I think that this masculine actually did something that was like really really bad people probably didn't know that this masculine would take the action that they actually took towards this divine feminine so this could be a masculine for some who who gets into spell work people may not have known that they thought they were just lying like yeah they were just lying trying to make sure that he didn't choose this, this masculine could have went and did something to actually really hurt or harm this divine feminine based on the lie that was told That feels like more of a past situation. We got mail. But currently, there's a situation. Somebody, somebody is just being completely haunted and afflicted by like a Jezebel energy. I feel like if you're a divine feminine, it's like every single connection you get into, you and whoever you're connecting with, Jezebel is coming in. This is like this is like a, a an entity that has been assigned to you. Until you get rid of this energy, it's going to keep affecting your life. Because I'm 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 seeing the past situation, but it seems like you're in a situation now with somebody, and it's, it's like history is is about to repeat itself. It keeps coming out. This masculine did. This masculine sent some people towards this divine feminine who walked away. This masculine sent men to this divine feminine. And, I, and I'm a, with the death card to hurt them because of the end karma is coming out. Somebody's like, oh my God. Because the truth is out. Wow. Somebody got pissed off and they went to a person that they know. That they consider family or a family member and was like, yeah, divine feminine, this was a big lie. 